welcome to the mathematics class once again in this video lesson i am going to discuss with you the exercise 6a of the transformations that is the trigonometric ratios up to transformations the same exercise the second section second bit now we have completed the first section all the bits and the second section first bit also I have completed in my previous video lessons those who have not watched those videos just click on the i button and get it notified proceed to this video after watching those videos right now in the continuation of the same exercise 1a uh, same exercise that is 6a sorry in that the second bit second one okay i have noted down here now the, the solution this is given simplify we have to get it into the simplest form now here let us start right now sin of minus something minus theta is minus sin theta so the minus comes out so minus 11 pi plus 3 so 11 pi i can write it as we can write it as 4 pi so let me dissolve it 4 pi minus pi by 3 see here 12 minus pi that is 11 pi right the minus comes out now tan tan of you can uh, we can write it as uh, 6 6 6 are 36 so 6 pi 6 pi minus pi by 6 okay so 36 minus pi is 35 so we can write it like that and secant of minus theta the minus comes out no here for cos theta and secant theta cos of minus theta is equal to just cos theta similar way even for the secant because that is a multiplicative inverse so 7 pi so how can i write this 7 pi in terms of you can write it as plus or minus if i write 2 pi plus pi by 3 suppose so this comes to 6 6 plus 1 7 7 pi minus goes off because secant of minus theta is just secant theta now here cos of 5 pi plus so this i can write it as pi plus pi by 4 okay so 4 pi plus pi that is 5 by pi by 4 cosecant 7 pi how can i write 2 pi right 2 pi minus pi by 4 let me check out see here 8 minus 1 is 7 right now here cos of 17 so 6 3 is like that okay 6 3 is 18 so 3 pi minus pi by 6 if i write so that is 18 minus 1 17 so we have simply dissolved it again later on we can also write this as 2 pi plus pi also we can write it here now minus sine of if you see 4 pi 4 pi means two revolutions if you see the quadrant system first quadrant second quadrant third and fourth quadrant see here now this is 0 this is pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi so one complete revolution so if you see here 4 pi so 1 and 2 2 revolution 4 pi minus pi by 3 comes in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant sine is negative so already minus is there minus minus plus sine pi by 3 right tan tan of 6 pi so three revolutions three revolutions minus so it comes in the fourth quadrant cos is positive so tan is negative so minus tan pi by 6 okay secant 2 pi plus pi by 3 so 2 pi means 1 revolution plus pi by 3 in the first quadrant all are positive see here all silver teacups you know this right all silver teacups that is the mnemonic so you can write it as either ways all silver teacups you can so you can also take all students take commerce or some other mnemonic which is accessible to you usually we use all silver tea cups okay here now the last one here secant of 2 pi plus pi by 3 right secant means 2 pi pi uh, plus pi by 3 in the first quadrant so in the first quadrant all are positive secant pi by 3 right let's see the denominator part cos of pi plus pi by 4 cos of pi plus pi by 4 in the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant cos is negative minus cos pi by 4 and cosecant 2 pi so cosecant 2 pi minus pi by 3 here here cos and secant so 
cosecant is negative minus cosecant pi by 4 and cos 3 pi minus pi by 6. So if you take one revolution here and 3 pi I can write it as shall so write it in the rough part here 2 pi plus pi minus pi by 6 we can write this as right. So that comes 2 pi means again you get it as cos of pi minus pi by 6. This if you write pi minus pi by 6, pi minus pi by 6 in second quadrant. Second quadrant cos is negative. So minus cos pi by 6 here. So this is the rough part. I am doing the rough work there. So that comes to minus cos of pi by 6. So complete thing. I have solved it here and I have written it here. Now this comes. We will substitute the values. Pi by 3. So that is sin uh, 180 by 3 that is 60 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 multiplied by minus tan pi by 6 pi by 6 is uh, 30 degrees that is minus tan 30 is minus 1 by root 3 tan 30 and secant pi by 3 secant 60 is 2 value 2 by minus cos so minus cos 45 degrees is 1 by root so multiplied minus again cosecant 45 cosecant 45 is it is a multiplicative inverse of sine sine 45 is 1 by root 2 so just root 2 okay into minus cos 30 degrees minus cos so minus cos 30 degrees means root 3 by 2 here so we can cancel of root 2 root 2 also minus minus plus only one minus is left over so here 1 minus and here minus root 3 by 2. So if you take this, it comes to 2 by root 3. If it comes up, minus minus goes off. So this is the final answer. Please pause the video and note it down. So if here given as tan 20 degrees is P. Prove that 6, 10, 700, 560, 420, 1 minus P square by 1 plus P square. We have to bring it into the values of P. So, if tan is uh, 20 is P, you can write cot 20 degrees is 1 by P. Okay, because tan and cot are the multiplicative inverse. Right. Here we will start with the LHS part. Tan 610, I can write it as tan of, okay, tan of 610, we can write it as 2 into 360, that comes to 720. 720 minus 110 right here plus tan of 700 we can write it as 2 into 360 again 720 720 minus 20 degrees so that is 700 right likewise here also tan 360 you can write no need of 360 plus 200 that is 560 minus tan 360 plus 110 degrees so this comes to 470 here now this again we can do it as 2 into 360 so two revolutions plus one so minus means that is in the fourth quadrant you get all silver tea cups so you can take it as minus tan 110 so we can take it as 110 okay plus and 2 into 360 again 2 revolutions minus 20 so 2 revolutions minus in the again the fourth quadrant so that is again minus 10 20 degrees I can take it as here this 360 plus 200 so in 3 tan 360 again tan 200 we can take it as minus 360 plus 110 again tan 110 so here we can write it again 110 as tan of 90 plus 20 yes because we have tan 20 degrees as p value we have to get the rhs part into the p value so so again minus tan of 20 degrees right here down also we can write it as here in the form of 180 plus 20 right 
all we have to bring it in the form of 20 so 180 plus 20 i can write 200 minus tan of again 90 plus 20 so that becomes 110 so here minus here minus only tan of 90 comes to cot changes the function changes 90 plus 20 in the second quadrant in the second quadrant again tan, tan is negative so minus minus plus cot 20 degrees here minus tan 20 is already there here if you see tan 180 plus 20 so in the third quadrant tan is positive so tan 20 degrees here minus tan of 90 come cot ch changes to cot 90 plus in the second quadrant so again negative so minus minus plus so 20 degrees so we will substitute the value of cot 20 and tan 20 in the given one cot 20 we got 1 by p minus p by tan 20 is p plus 1 by p so if you take the lcm here it comes to 1 minus p square by p square plus 1 by p so if you cancel off you can write it as 1 minus p square by 1 plus p square so this is the rhs what we have to prove just note it down pause the video and note it down so you are given if alpha and beta are complementary angles so complementary angles means the sum should be equal to 90 degrees so one angle if if one angle is so if i take uh, alpha one angle the other angle beta i can write it as oh, 90 minus alpha okay so if complementary is if one angle is alpha the other angle beta will be 90 minus alpha in the form of alpha so that is complementary both the angles sum up to 90 degrees such that b sin alpha is given also b sin alpha as a so we get it as sin alpha in the form of a by b okay in this from this we can find as cos alpha from the first identity sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to 1 from first identity cos alpha we can find it as root of 1 minus sin square alpha that is a square by b square sin square here so this comes to under root b square minus a square by b square we can write it as square root of b square minus a square split the square root so here just square root square goes off just you get b so cos alpha value we know sin alpha value we know here sin alpha cos alpha but we want to know cos beta and sin beta okay here if you keep cos beta both sides giving cos so it becomes cos 90 minus alpha so cos beta is equal to cos 90 is again sin isn't it 90 minus means in the first quadrant that is sin alpha so cos beta is sin alpha sin alpha value we know that is a by b so that is a by b we got the cos beta also we want sin beta from this sin beta we can find it as again from the first identity 1 minus cos square beta so 1 minus a square by b square we get the same thing that is root b square minus a square by b if you take the lcm right we got all the four values now we will substitute we have to find a value of this we will substitute here here now sin alpha write it here cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta we want the value of this so we will substitute sin alpha is the value of sin alpha that is a by b multiplied by cos beta cos beta is again a by b minus cos alpha where is the cos alpha so root of b square minus a square by b multiplied by sin beta sin beta is again root of b square minus a square by b so multiplications we'll do this comes to a square minus b square is equal to square root and square goes of just b square minus b square minus a square by b square right if you take the lcm b square here you get it at a square minus b square plus a square so minus sign for both the sign 
So minus of b square minus b square is minus b square plus a square. So this comes to 2a square minus b square by b square is the final answer. So that is the value of sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta. Please make a note. Pause the video. Okay. So we have completed the second bit. Okay. In the second section, second bit also we will, we have to do the third bit. Let's continue in the next session. Now here you need to know the formulas first. I told the quadrant system, the formulas all. So I'll make a video on the formulas, especially how to learn the formulas very quickly and very accessible. Okay. So do watch that video also and we will continue the third part in the next session. Thank you all.